What's going on people? Today we're going to rank the legendaries in the game and we're going to start at the top with the S tier, best in the game. Basically your bread and butter for high DPS builds. These legendaries are what you want to get your hands on as quick as possible. So you're going to be grinding for these to some degree in the beginning. Then we have A tier legendaries. High DPS potential, really powerful and really, really useful, especially with the right setup and then we have the b tier very useful especially for certain builds or objectives like perfect parries when you're doing survival or uh, getting past attunements we then have a c tier which is useful under the right circumstances but not absolutely necessary but still with its uses we have d tier which is can be useful and can be fun with some builds but nothing to write home about and then we have the f tier not worth the legendary slot basically no redeeming value or just plain bad okay so let's dive into it first off we have the stone striker i'm staggering this target so we can do more damage and just look at that three heavenly strikes purple oni lord is dead a tier Up next, we got the Master's Katana. Now, this is great for melee builds, but if you're, you know, playing any competitive mode in Legends, it's gonna make you go slow. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, it, it can still be a lot of fun being being able to switch stances, but you'll find that a lot of Onis don't really require it. So D tier for Legends. Let's move on to the next Demon Cutter. Now, Demon Cutter's perk throws nearby enemies right if you stagger an enemy and so these it seems like it's only smaller enemies these elite spear mongols don't get thrown apparently it's only the smaller ones not very useful but can still be fun we're gonna give that a d tier rank we're gonna go next with the Wrath of Saragami. Now, this was everybody's favorite armor from the DLC Iki Island, and it's one of the most, it's one of the sickest, you know, moves that we got with the the whole campaign. I would say, um, you know, rivals all the other really powerful ones. So, eh, and it's nice that you can Moonmaster cancel as well after the update. B tier. Do you like one-shotting Tengus? No way, it can be done, look at that. And do you like one-shotting Oni Archers? Can be done too. Then look no further than Masamuna's Edge, one of my favorite legendaries from the start because it lets you also kill this big purple Oni Lord in three hits if you got the regular Shadow Strike or two hits if you got overshadowed. I mean, there's not much i can add here straight to the top s tier yoshitsuna's hand now this one the perk is that you can it procs a uh, knockdown and it says target right so i was actually i never really play, played with this legendary too much um to be honest just because the perk is not really that useful so i was trying to get it to proc with the onis and it doesn't really seem to work it seems to it's only for regular mongols so here you can see, I actually got it to proc pretty often with Mongols. Not that useful really, so F tier. Okay, moving on to ranged. We're gonna go start with the Skipping Stone Bow. Really one of the most sought after legendaries in the game. You know, build ult, easy, the lead waves easy, S tier. Up next, we got the Weightless Spirit. Now, this one used to be one of the worst legendaries in the game. People used to jokingly call it the Worthless Spirit. But uh, with the Iki Island DLC, they, they changed a lot of the legendaries and, and, you know, buffed them up. And this one, they gave it like 300 the speed that it used to have. So this thing is a machine now for building ult. It's a, uh, you know, great way to build resolve, especially for melee classes. For Hunter, I wouldn't really recommend this. You know, it can be fun for Hunter, but um, doesn't really rival Skipping Stone in my opinion. And especially if you can, you know, do reload cancel pretty well. Still faster with the Weightless Spirit, but 
with skipping stone you get that additional hit you know per target so um but yeah for melee classes like samurai and assassin it can be really fun really powerful you can just basically be ulting all the time a lot of a lot of times you know especially in the beginning people want to be getting their ult uh, a lot so they can use that you know especially when you're trying to learn how to handle waves and you know enemy loads and this is just the way to do it huh s tier all the way to the top next we have heaven sting now heaven sting is a legendary that lets you bypass the attunements for example it's uh, it's really the best use for it and the attunements in case you didn't know is uh, a buff of some sorts that uh, allows enemies to basically have this resistance to damage that's about i don't know five six hundred percent so but with this you get to just skip that b tier next to wrath of Sarigami. now we have forbidden medicine forbidden medicine is basically what took the samurai class from the bottom to the top of the leaderboards you know it's just it, it makes it's a it's, it's an explosive and damaging combination with the samurai ult a s tier all the way now we have uh, sugaru sight now this one look at this it's just painfully slow you know it's just the the range it doesn't it's, it's so narrow it's just basically you just feel like a sitting duck here you know waiting for waiting for the uh, right angle to be yeah f tier probably the worst legendary in my book next we go to the charm sacred iron now sacred iron lets you apply weaken to enemies that have a, the deal melee damage to you but unfortunately it doesn't work for range damage so you're kind of screwed uh f tier that's that's pretty bad next we have last breath and you can see now i'm gonna survive this so i survived with 50 health can be useful i guess maybe fun uh he heavenly rebuke basically lets you have the heavenly strike uh with the lightning attached to it sometimes um not really that useful i think not not as powerful and the lightning can be buffed however in a side note if you have both stone striker and heavenly rebuke stone strikers heavenly strike takes over as you just saw d tier next we have restorative rhythm restorative rhythm can be really cool for you know if you're not a ronin and you like to play the ronin this is basically the legendary that enables that uh the heal lasts a few seconds so that's good as well and it's for everybody c tier and then we have shogun's fortitude which lets you bypass uh toxic clouds and uh flash effects so anytime one of those toxic poisonous clouds goes off uh, you're not affected by it and also these flash effects where you get blinded not affected by it you take a you know chip damage but not really that much c tier and now we're going to go to Saragami's Glare. And this one, it's cool because you can, you know, use it in conjunction with the Sar Rat the Saragami. And then you can play cosplay to, you know, the Saragami armor. It blinds nearby enemies. So that's cool. Also because it lets you, it gives you the assassination prompt, you know. So if you're wanting to play assassin or, you know, build around that D tier. Ben K's last stand. This lets you bypass uh, arrow damage, and uh, that's two out of two. I got a freebie there. I got hit there, and basically this is the best use for this. You know, buying stuff under Hawacha, which can be really annoying, but not that useful. So D tier. Next up, we have Enjo's Remorse, or like I like to call it, Banjo's Remorse, because Enjo's is Bay. And, you know, not much that needs to be said about this one. The 15% actually makes a big difference because uh, the way that damage is uh, calculated in the, in the game, uh, it, this just gives you that additional uh, edge to just be able to delete stuff S tier all the way. Now, next we have Ghost Weapon 1, Spirit Kunai, the king. 
And so as you can see, if you if you like to just delete waves, it's it's amazing, especially for Ronin with that 50% additional ghost weapon damage. It works great with Assassin as well, with the Toxic Vanish, as you can see here, just deleting, deleting, deleting waves. If you're, you know, in the, I got my, my Vanish back again in just a few seconds. Uh, it's great for Hunter as well, you know, basically the same procedure applies and you get your smoke which is really important for hunter and you get your ability which is really important it's great for samurai too but i think the other three classes benefit more s tier next we have magma bomb magma bomb used to be a lot more powerful in that it used to last like the same as smoke which is 12 seconds now it'll last like five seconds so not that great uh not quite f tier but can be useful so d tier uh, Touch of Heaven lets you gain a little bit of health if you're close to the blast. You have to be really up close to get a significant heal, so F tier. Lady Sandra's Surprise. This lets you hallucinate enemies when it procs. And, uh, you know, hallucinating enemies and making them fight each other sounds like you know, useful in theory, but really not that useful. The, the damage doesn't actually scale, as you can see. Um, this Oni Lord hits these enemies with, uh, you know, attacks that usually can be like that. That can be a 100% damage if you're caught, if you're caught in the middle of it. And he, and it's just like chip damage that they take, like 1 HP, 2 HP, so, yeah. And then you can still get hit, so it's not really that useful. Pretty crap, actually, F tier. Next up, we got the Mist of Yagata. Mist of Yagata can be really useful for builds that are high DPS and have little to no healing. So it, this enables that and it actually got buffed. It lasts longer and it heals more now. So really, really useful. We're gonna give that a B tier. Next we have Bottle Liquid Courage. Now this one, you know, resolve on demand and also can proc with the Lucky Perk. So, you know, it can come in really clutch. It can help you uh, go much faster than you would, especially for rivals or for story, where speed is of the essence. And you'll, you know, rivals you will have enemy, I mean enemy, so you'll have a competing team quitting. And yeah, it's just an all around great legendary. Really, really powerful. Got a little nerfed, but still works great. A tier. Next we have Kenji's Shared Brew. Now Kenji's Shared Brew gives nearby allies a little bit of a heal which if you're not running kind of make maybe makes a difference but otherwise it's ass uh, next we have demon seeds now demon seeds can be really powerful if you know how to place them and, and with the right setup you can delete waves really easy as you can see here boom it's gone that that weekend hits like a truck all right, so that's it. Those are all 27 legendaries ranked. Let, let me know what you thought about my um, tier list in the comments as usual. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And um, yeah, see you next time.